There's one already there that he fall a, a, a 25, I think. Yeah, I'm just gonna check that one there on the far side. A night of foal watch is really an experience like no other. And when it's the progeny of a first season sire entering the world, expectation and anticipation can be fever pitch. Trapeze artist and English graduate himself, now standing at Widdenstun in the Hunter Valley, will have 18 of his first crop at the English Classic Sale, which begins on Sunday at Riverside. One of them is this lovely filly out of the mare image. And I was lucky enough to be at Widdenstun the night she was born back in September 2020. Okay. It's me, it's me, it's me, it's me. So we put the bandage on and we check that she's warm enough. She's got the decent back, she's running. You see the, the color of the, that now is a, a white, it's kind of a milk. The, the ones that we saw yesterday, they were a bit more uh, transparent. And now it's just a bit more waxy, wh uh, whiter, so the milk will come after. So ideally, that's the, that's the ideal scenario. Yep. It's, it's not dripping milk. So it's not losing the calostrum. So as soon as the fall uh, uh, bones and socks, he's gonna get the whole thing. Yeah. If, if this takes uh, uh, longer and she starts uh, dripping milk, she wouldn't lose much now. But if it was yesterday or this morning, she will lose yes, uh, quite a lot. So the, the, the rate of the, of the calostrum will uh, uh, fail. And now at the same time, you see how is, everything is relaxing. You see that the bulba is getting uh, bigger. The, the cut is getting longer and longer. That's why, that's why you just leave it. I will go and check now for a, a presentation, but it will be a little bit too deep. So she's breaking water, she's quiet. I just leave her. Easy, girl. That's it. I said, we're just gonna check that it's coming the right way. That's it, you're a good girl. You're a good girl, okay. We've got one, we've got two, and we've got the head. Yeah, yeah, everything is coming. It's going the right way. Well done, girl. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. The first trapeze hit the ground, spring 2020, and um, obviously once you sort of seen the first half a dozen, the pressure came off, good, strong, well put together, and, and being able to see them now as we send them to the yearling sales is fantastic, and everything that we expected from the stallion. The image filly is a great example. We've seen that trapeze was able to stamp them, and she's got that beautiful big white face, and even from an early stage, she was a good size, good, strong filly, and, and continued all the way along into yearling prep now. now, then take down from Fells with Trapeze Artist off the track. Trapeze Artist goes past him and Trapeze Artist takes out the TJ. Once when we retire a stain to get the breeder support and then the foals and now the yearlings before they do hit the track. So while it's exciting, there's a lot of pressure. Um, there's a lot of expectation on these stains and especially a stain like Trapeze with the CV that he has. It's, it's as, as elite as we can get. There's a lot of emotion, um, pressure, excitement, you know, to appease the breeders is really important, but there's a lot of pressure and um, fortunately we've started off on the right foot. We have um, 11 trapeze artists selling at the Classic Sale and overall there's 46 yearlings that we're taking. So that just indicates the volume of um, support we've had 
for trapeze artists and to have them in the sale is you know a great testament to where we think the stain is going and trapeze overall has 19 yearlings represented in the sale which again is a, a great representation across not just Widden but the other farms that have supported him. Images mums obviously by exceed um, so you're breeding speed on speed and, and you look at this filly and, and that's exactly what you see you see how powerful a mover that she is um, gets along the ground very well and it's a good combination of both exceed and obviously trapeze. The trapeze artist Silent Symphony Colt is out of a show of Hartmare. Um, she's five from five on the track. He's a, a really athletic moving horse. He's got good size, good substance, great bone, and gets along the ground really well. So he, um, to me, looks like he would be an earlier sort of type of running horse and uh, really pleased with how he's developed and prepped. The trapeze artist, uh, Southern Venture, he's out of a Zabil mare, so you can look at him, he's got a little bit more leg under him, still a great action to him, he's got a lovely head, he's probably a little bit more time and, and, and a little bit more time to get into that frame, but a great moving horse, again, these uh, trapeze artists have great bone, great substance to them, and you can see he himself, everyone tells me, was very much like, like these the yearlings that we're seeing, big, strong, powerful style of horse, and, and that's what you want to expect from a stage. Overall the feedback's been fantastic and the trainers that have purchased them already have really got behind and supported them, they are going to the leading trainers and they expect what they see. Um, Trapeze himself, we paraded him on the farm um, to a lot of these trainers and, and typically they've reported back to us saying that's exactly what their yearlings have presented like and they're happy to stool in and buy these horses. Widden couldn't be more grateful to Bert and the Vieira family for the opportunity to stand this day. His CV, as I mentioned before, is, is an elite sprinter. He's Long Jean's highest rated sprinter, champion three-year-old colt. To get to where we are now, while there's a lot of pressure, there's a lot of gratification in it. And we're really, really happy that we've been able to, to see the types that he's thrown and, and the next steps on the racetrack. And we certainly think he's going to tick that box with the support from all the breeders and Bert Vieira himself.